This Home is Here digital exclusive is brought to you by Atlas Insurance Agency, First Hawaiian Bank, Pesha Hawaii, and Locations. In Hawaiian culture, there's a concept called kino lau. Kino meaning body and lau meaning multiple forms. So kino lau are the physical manifestations of, of ancestors and the divine. Who is the god of governance, politics, you know, warfare, different forms of fishing and agriculture. And one of his manifestations is the o'o, bird that provided both the yellow and black feathers in Hawaiian featherwork bird that provided the red feathers, the ivi, also um, is another manifestation of ku. To connect with these really godly energies, um, chiefs would adorn themselves with the feathers associated with these entities in power. Red and yellow feathers were used primarily in Hawaiian regalia and used by the, the high chiefs um, because of their rank. Red being the color of chiefly status across the Pacific, but in Hawaii, um, yellow also attains a very high level and high station because of its scarcity. Kamehameha's Ahu'ula has an estimate of about 450,000 uh, yellow mamu feathers. That roughly translates to about 80 to 100,000 birds. So it really was a symbol of status and symbol of authority of the amount of land that a chief had under their control to acquire the resources necessary to make something of that size. Mm -hmm. 